my name is Breck Units, and I am a software engineer at Our World in Data. I'm going to show some of the new stuff that we'll be launching soon. Some of you may have seen this Coronavirus Data Explorer, which is a somewhat advanced tool for exploring the data during this pandemic across the world. You can see how it can do quite a lot. I'm going to show you the technology that powers the new version of this. It's a little bit different than anything you've seen before. Our readers are the public policymaker, researchers. The people who author our content have this admin interface. They can create blog posts, charts. The current way an author creates a chart is to use a traditional form style builder. That works, but it wasn't quite scaling to what we wanted to do. So the new version is something pretty different. It's a spreadsheet like IDE for building these types of exploratory data analysis tools. Let's just do a simple new one to demonstrate some of the big ideas. Here's a blank sheet and here's a picture in picture preview of what we're building here. I'm just going to start with a template. So I'm going to click template. And now you can see that this information is filled in. We're looking at something new. It's not a spreadsheet. It's not a programming language. It's a hybrid. It is editable like a spreadsheet. You can do all the things that any power Excel user would expect to do, but it's also like a programming language. You've got autocomplete in here, syntax highlighting, type checking, secondary notations. It's a, a powerful programming language. It uses something under the hood called tree notation. You can build programming languages that are two dimensional. This thing scales nicely. So if I go now over to that coronavirus data explorer that we saw, it's a very powerful tool used by a lot of policymakers throughout the world. And so we've really added lots of features to it over time. So it used to be 3,500 lines of code in pure TypeScript that the software team had to maintain by hand. But now we can do it all as a spreadsheet. And so the researchers can go in here and add new options and create new transformations. As they make changes, they can see the live preview. I didn't really have a script here, but I just kind of wanted to show that, hey, there's this brand new thing you can do, which is which merges the power of programming languages with the power of spreadsheets. And under the hood uses this thing called tree notation, and I'm happy to talk more about how that works, but I'm just going to put this out there for now and talk later.